picks. Um, okay, good. Right, just to repeat what I just been talking about, Ali and, and Kerry, guys. Um, with the class all evolving and life evolving, clocks going forwards, people being back at work and everything, this session has turned into a, a catch-up, press and play in a weekend, which is fantastic because the numbers are still there, people doing it, um, and, and, as with all the classes are. So I'm going to keep this live one going for a couple of weeks, and it's it's your voting with your feet and you're pressing your little fingers, basically. If it stays at the, at the couple like this, I will change this session to a press and play which means I'll record it either the day before or on the morning of the Friday when I can and get it out there a bit like the Wednesday is. When we did that one, it was um, a little bit how was it going to work and it has worked and we've still got 156 uh, fitness sessions uh, going in, in, in a week, 20, 23 to 25 people are doing each session every day. So that's good. And some people are now doing, as we know, binge watching or binge exercising on the weekend. They're putting three sessions together. Madness, I know. Right, going to mute, you, mute us all down. Well, just two anyway. There we go. Carry a jumper looks like something from 1972. I don't want to say anything, but there you go. With the stars on. <laughs> I had one like that and I was 12. All right. <laughs> okay, press the buttons. Press that one. Let's get going, guys. I want to adjust my clock from worm catchers. There was 12 people in worm catchers this morning. <laughs> So they get up at half seven, do the worm catches, then they're in bed now. That's it. So that's why they're not here. Let's just get the feet going, guys. Let's just gentle walk on the spot. We're going to do our towel metrics. When we've done an exercise, we're done. It's through, finished, and that's it. No big noses and no extra ones. No me thinking, what else can we do? Slowly start taking those knees up to about where you feel comfortable. No more than about the day. So we're taking us here 90 degrees at the hips, 90 degrees at the knee. Good. Three, two. And a one, hands to the side. Let's lean over left or right, any side I want to. Good. You're stretching the waistline, don't go any further. Bring it back up as no the other way. It's a lovely and sunny day down in Cornwall, 18 degrees we had. Hope everybody else gets it as well. Bring it back up nice and slowly. Taking the hands up and out, guys. Turn those palms up and breathe in. And exhale down to the heart. Pause and hold there. If this class does go press and play, probably more people because they, they'll better get into it in the afternoons, I suppose, and get the sessions done. Switch the hands out again, reach for the walls, turn them up, separate little finger from the thumb, and up we go again. Exhale down to the heart, bring the thumbs onto the sternum, elbows nice and low, and we'll squish out one more time, reach out for the walls, turn them up, big breath in, you know what's coming next as we exhale down, Elbows are coming up nice and high. It's a three-second isometric push in. Go. Two, three. Hook the hands over. Three-second pull apart. And a go. Two. And a three. Arc the hands down. Hold the thumb. Rotate the shoulders forwards. And rotate them to the rear. Take the hands back up and out. Palms facing me. And just take yourself around left. And for some reason, I'm turning up at the window. I'm not expecting it to be dark. All the clocks go forward this weekend. There we go. Round we go. Left and right. Left and right. Just swing it round. One more that side. One more this side. Back again. Arc the hands down. And we're going to put the left leg forwards onto the heel. Hands to the hips. Bending forwards. Feel the stretch in the hip. So my Sunday Nordic walkers were starting at 10 o'clock on Sunday. And I told them they could have a lie in because we normally start at 9. So they all were happy on Thursday. They're all thinking they're having a lane on Sunday. They forgot the clocks go forward. So I actually started <laughs> at the same time. I played psychological tricks with them. Two and a one. Relax that down, guys. Bring the other heel forwards. Talk towards the shin. Bending it forwards from the hips. Might feel a bit easier this side because we'll stretch out the other side. And that works across the hip. And low pelvic floor. Two. And a one, bring it back up. And just hook from here, bring the hands up and back out again. Up and back out. One more to there, and then up on the toes at the same time. Up we go, and a nice big hand span. Get the hands way out, curving them back, reaching up to the corner of the room. Last one, up we go, back down, roll in the shoulders. Little good habits with the wrists, get them wiggling, get the fingers wiggling, Mexican waves, pointing the finger out, 
We're going all the way around on this one, okay? Not like a sack, you want to stretch to build up to it. Here we go, breathe in. Exhale, and around we go with it. Go around, so I've got my, well, a big, a big bath towel, I suppose, large one, so I can get all the exercises done. Two, and a one, and I'm unrotating that circle on that arm around. Nice big circles, couple one way, and a couple the other way. Then we'll bring the other hand pointing outwards. Bring the hand upwards to there. Big deep breath in. Exhale and slowly take it around. Watching that fingernail. Got the skis on. Going to instep to out step. Get so far around. Pause and hold. Got to my maximum 15. Two and a one. Unwind, bring it back. I'm going to circle the arm around. A couple of times in one direction. And a couple of times around in the other direction. Good stuff. Rolling it around. Let's get the towels, guys. We're going to start with the big muscles as we should do. We're doing a full body workout with isometrics, strong to the bones. And I'd say if anybody come on, do we get asked? I do get asked, and people say, What one should I start? I only want to do a couple of weeks when they first start. And I'll say the Saturday morning stretch and get isometrics because it gets through to the bones, guys, and gets the strength and covers so many other angles. So from there, both my feet are going to come in. I'm going to wrap the towel around. And so I turn sideways. That's the angle where I am. Sticking the butt out. Nice tight grip. I know it's not going to go to make it's a towel. Here's like a magic carpet towel doing that. Turn it around. Looking up, it's white to the eyes. Ears, shoulders, hips aligned. Ready as if we're going to try and pull this towel up with a deadlift isometric and go. There. And I'm watching the clock. 80% of your strength on this first one. There. It's easy one to overdo on this one, but because it's a towel and won't move, what will happen is you'll just let go of it if anything starts hurting, but just to there. So you can feel that going up the spine. You can feel the stability in the femurs. There, lower pelvic floor area, two and a one. And relax that back down, undo it. Roll your shoulders around. It's 100% the next one. We're doing three of these. That was approximately 20 seconds. We're doing 25 and then 30. Okay. Nice big deep lateral thoracic breathing all the way through. That's enough for a rest for there, bringing it back in again. Putting the feet back into the same place, getting to the same position. Nice grip of the towel. And you can get three or four for the price of one. You can certainly get two by squeezing the towel. Nice tight grip, as tight as you can. You get those hands working. Ready? Two, one, go. And we pull upwards. A little bit of movement, hardly anything at all. You can feel the towel taking the stress. Now, each one we do is isometric, so this one, you're going to feel different muscle groups working to the last one. And the third one will even be more. And some will start getting a bit tired, but all of this is transferring to the bones. There, in the shoulders, down the spine. That eight shape we talk about, we turn on its side, across the shoulders, down the spine, to the hips, two, and a one. And relax that back down again. Bring it up, rotate the shoulders around. We're going to do a little bit of mobilisation between some of, the, some of the isometric exercises because they are powerful. Now, if you stood up that time, did you feel your heart take off a little bit, all right? So you stand upwards and the beat will increase because your respiration rate increases using those big muscles, okay? If you very quickly get to your continuous recovery rate, as I call it, all right? Here we go. Last one coming in. Feet in, they nice and stable. Down towards the ground. This is the 30 second one, guys. So, Five, four, three, two, one, there. I'm pulling upwards and just keeping the focus. Now, you guys on. So anybody watching suppress and play, I know it's over the weekend, quite a few of you. Watch, it's white to the eyes. Don't let that head dip down to the floor. Just because it's not live and you're thinking you can't see what I'm doing, don't do any of that stuff with the head going down. Keep it there. Ears, shoulders, hips nicely aligned. Good. Holding that. Timing coming up. Five seconds left from now. Almost there. Keep your 100% on and relax. Drop it back down, take it to there. And you can feel where you're getting, you actually get a stretch in some parts of that on your isometrics. Rolling it around. Let's put the towel down. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Clearing the, this is my lung for talking. That's the one for doing fitness, all right? So the fitness one I've got going. Take the hands back up and out and gently rotate around left and right again. The spine has been doing a lot of work there. Round we go. Good, last one this side. Last one that side. 
drop the hands down to the side and a nice little gentle side bend stroke stretch. So go past where you feel a stretch in the waist and take it just a little bit further. Get the long arm down the side of the body, take it to your 15 and hold. Now slowly bring it back up and go the other way. There. So we've worked that spinal column, it's done a lot of hard work and then we're opening it all back up again. And then we bring that nicely back up and hold. I've been asked about um, discs and the spine and lifting weights and everything. If you overload, of course, you can compress your spine. But when you're doing a towel, the isometrics in the back, it's very difficult to do, guys, because you're in control of it and your body's not going to let you do it. The towel, you can be pulled so far. You can't pull so much where you're going to squash your own spine down, okay? So it's a nice 100% and no more than that. 100% is 100%, isn't it? Here we go. All right. I'm going to roll tape this round. I'm going to get a nice grip in the middle of my towel. I'm going to have the hands hip width apart, hip width apart, shoulders there. So that's my distance there. Long arms, and I'm pulling the towel apart. Okay. 10 seconds in. Two, one, go and pull it. So I'm 80% first. So a couple of seconds, I was 100 and I eased it off. Now, again, we can squeeze the towel really tight and get those fingers working even more too. And a one, and relax it back down and just rotate those shoulders around. Try and keep, try and keep it 10 seconds, we'll come, come back in and keep the long arms again, all right? Okay, back again, nice stance, soft knees, hands up nice and long, squeezing the towel, two, one, and go. 100% now, there. Now, there is a theory, if you twist your towel more and more, it actually gets more resistance. I don't really believe that one so much because when you're pulling the material, it's, you're, you're pulling it, okay? Two and a one and relax it back down, rotate those shoulders around. You can feel that one now if you're squeezing your grip, it's working right off the arms and you do feel it around the joints. Because when you're doing our bands and um, muscle strength and endurance, you feel the muscles. You do feel it more in the joints on this one, which is how it should be because that's where the energy is transferring through. Here we go, long arms again, third one of these. Two, one, and go, there. Pulling that apart, 100%. Now, you can squeeze your glutes. You probably feel I'm squeezing my glutes. They're working already, it can happen, guys. You get your abs working as well. It's a lot of energy, and every isometric is actually turns into a full body. Two, and a one, and relax that back down, and just shake the hands out. So for this one, Good habits, rub the back of the wrists, wiggle the fingers, little Mexican wave either side, rub the back of the wrists again, shaking that out, rotating the shoulder and keeping it nice and relaxed. Because we're going to come back in, but this time we're going to bring the towel touching the chest. Now, if I put the towel down, arms are there, look, when I bring them in to here, the chest all comes up, so you change the muscles that are working and you change the exercise. This by bringing the hands in. Just in case anybody's thinking, oh, I'm going to fast forward this, we've just done that one. Okay, so roll now. Hand grip is going to be shoulder width apart. Not doing narrow hand grip this, this session. So from long arms, bring it in, touching the chest, parallel elbows to there, pull apart, ready, go, there. And you can feel that now. That's gone from the shoulders to the chest and across the back. 80%. Hold it nice and tight. Feel those abs coming in. Picture of as a ship coming out the ocean too and one, and relax it back down, because you get that raising up feeling from the diaphragm to here, all the chest rolling up, that's because you get a nice S shape through the spine, so you strengthen your spine with it in its correct posture position. Okay, here we go. I can already feel a little bit of tiredness creeping in. It's Friday. Okay, ready, there. 100% in, two, one, go, there. That's 100%. Because if I didn't have my tash on, you'd see my double Elvis lip going in the monster face. But the focus, I've got the tremors going on now, guys. The fast twitch fibers are getting super tired. They're shaking about two and a one. And we relax that back down, rotate the shoulders around. Relaxing the fingers down. I can feel where those hands are working hard. So you think being on the, when you're like, Kerry and Ali are both know, because Kerry, you used to have a lot more. When you're out, you, you're working all day manual with a shovel or whatever you're doing outside and you feel the hands getting a bit tired you bring that on really quickly your isometrics it's 100 percent. okay here we go against the chest it's to there parallel arms two one 
go and we pull that apart. And that is 100%, guys. Pull, pull, pull. Keep that going. You think 100%? Just try and pull it a little bit more. Keep it on. Got the shakes going too. And a one. And relax that back down. Give that a good shake out. Relax those hands down. I have a massage getting the thumb and massaging into the palm of the hand at the same time. Wiggling the fingers around. Okay. Good. Like that. So, from there, back to the legs. I'm going to... Fold the towel round and round, roll it up, just get into a nice shape. It's going to go between our knees, so it's there. Now, make sure the feet are hip width apart. Don't bring it to a narrow one, okay? Placing it between the knees, and my sitting, I'm going to come down to that position there, all right? So, not sitting, but just off a little bit high in that, I suppose. A milking stool on building bricks, so it's there. And we're squeezing those knees in. It's 20 seconds, first one. Ready? Two, one, and go. Bring them in there. And that's 80%. Good. Not stable on the floor. Think of the abdominal area. Think 30%. And you can feel all that energy really working through the lower abdominal area. The thighs, the femurs, the hip area. Two, one, and relax. Stand back up and give it a shake out. And you're gonna feel it right up at the lower pelvic floor. This is a fantastic exercise for the lower pelvic floor, guys. Making it really, really strong, all right? Good. There. Thinking you're 30%, remember that. Same again, here we go, putting that towel back in. Feet in width apart. Stick the butt out to the rear. Ears, shoulders, hips aligned, whites of the eyes. 25 seconds, two, one. In we go there and we squeeze in, there. Good. Now, as I bring the arms down, because I'm squeezing in, I can actually feel the lats, so the big muscles side, I can feel those firing up as well as I bring those hands in. Just to there, good. In fact, the next exercise happens to be a little bit, we're going to do the top of the body, or to the bottom. Two, and a one, and relax it down, and slowly stand up, and then give it a nice gentle shake out again. Again, we stand up from there, big muscles working, you feel the heart rate come up, you feel yourself want to take a big extra breath in, we're all conditioned for that. As soon as you spot the big muscles working to you, you're going to start ringing your chest up and sucking the air in, guys. Okay, here we go. Knees, towel, positioning, focus, ready, go. In we come. This one's 30 seconds, 20, 25, then a 30. I like doing the ask differently. Sometimes we do 330s, so we did 320s the other week. But pulling it in, big muscles, they've got to work harder. Now, third one, all the way 100%. Try and squeeze a little bit more. Bring it in, bring it in. Keep the work going, and you probably feel your pelvic floor now starting to get a little bit tired because the muscles there are very, very lazy. That's your origins, the adductors. Three, two, one, and slowly stand up, guys. Bring it to there. I'm going to gently put, just put the towel down. Bring the feet hip width apart, hands to the hips, then just circle those hips around. No matter how many times, no clock, no timing, no counting. Just circle it around and take it back the other way. There. So we know that rotations after an exercise, if the part of body you can rotate, it helps to ease everything up. Works across the grain, if you like. Imagine a piece of water. Two and a one. Nice relax, nice shake it out. I'm going to keep my towel to the shape we've just had because we're going to bring it in. I'm going to bring the hands there against the chest, they're going to push in. So instead of using the palms, we've got a little bit of resistance from the towel, guys. So, that was it. If you happen to be a, a bigger towel, your hands are, are, are even further apart, doesn't matter, don't worry. That's the posture there. So if I'm down, but you're sticking out nicely, I don't know, stood up on an uneven a, 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 a pavement or something that's rocking about, you're nice and stable. That's what we want to be to there. So it's going to be 10 seconds, pushing in, three, Go there. And the towel was quite flat. I have to say, I do prefer doing this one with the turtle bag, but this is okay. It's giving that resistance. Now feel that that's going across your back and straight up the spinal column into the base of your skull. Nice strengthening going on there. In two and one, and then relax it down. We're straight into shaking those hands out. That's the one for this one because the wrists are like this. You're pushing in a lot. So bending them around, keeping the circulation going. Good habits back of the wrist, bring it back in. Okay, I'm gonna turn my towel that way around this time. And 
position. 10 seconds, ready? Go and push in there, 100%. So again, we've got the chest work, most muscles working a different way. All the origin insertions by pushing it in. And you can feel how those hamstrings fire up from the pelvic floor area to keep us nice and stable. Two and one and relax it down, rotating the shoulders forwards to the rear, wiggling the hands around, circling wrists around, wiggling those fingers, bringing it back. Last one of these. Ready. Three, two, one. Squeeze. We're going to come back to the legs in a second. In fact, it's going to be about 20 seconds. There. Pushing in. Oh, we 100%. Push a bit more, guys. Push a bit more. There. Two, one. And relax it back down. I'm going to put the towel down for a sec as I rotate on the third one. Really felt it a lot on the wrist there, so rotating it round. Because we work out on the beam and we're on all fours, our hands go over it, all right? So we don't feel this one so much. Those guys are still on tape do when they've got your wrists working out. So bad position, rotate around. One of the awkward things when doing Pilates, one of the exercises that I don't like doing, never have done. But there you go. All right, so with a the towel then, I'm falling over to a bit of a band, I suppose. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my insteps together, take the towel around the back of the thighs, Cross it over, and I'm pulling it out that way and holding it. All I'm going to do there is, from there, is try and open those knees up, right from the hips all the way down. So the towers to there, I'll move a little bit. Get two for the price of one. 20 seconds, ready? Go, and try and move those knees out. You'll feel it straight away. It's weird. Now, feel where that's gone. That's gone into where the femur goes into the pelvic floor area. You'll feel that right deep into the butt. That's where all those, all those big muscles are attaching, guys. Keep it going. Keep pulling those knees out for two and a one and relax that down. As relaxing that down, standing up, at the end of that, that 20 seconds, you might have felt it working up into the rib cage and working around the body. So you're really hitting this part of the body. It's an exercise. We do got a few of these. Anybody watching who doesn't understand what we're doing think, I can't see what they're doing because there's no movement there, but you can definitely feel it. Bringing it back in, there's enough time for the recovery. With a nice tight grip of the towel. We have done this one on the knees, but today I want to do it on the thighs to move it up into the lower rib cage, okay? Ready, in steps together. Whites of the eyes, posture, soft knees, go. This one's 25 seconds, I'm moving that out. And at first you're thinking, what's it doing? Now can you feel the rib cage expanding, the lower ribs? They're opening up, your abs are getting sucked in. You can feel the bum tiring. You can feel those big muscles. You think, oh, what's all that about? That's the energy going through. That's the origins, guys. The part we're working out. We always work the belly of muscles when we do exercise. This takes it to the finer points, if you like. Two and a one. And relax that down. We're going to ease it back up. Can't take your towel from any legs. Don't hold it tight and fall over like a sack race. Okay. Right. Heart rate coming up. Feeling good, starting to feel, I can feel the full body effect now. Like all the body's been working out, every muscle's been covered. Here we go, third and last one of these, and same place, halfway down those thighs, white to the eyes, 30 seconds, in three, two, one, go. Out we go there, good. So I'm watching the clock on my mobile phone, it's about the only thing left that works on it. Can you believe within, four, within 24 hours, we had two forms decided to pack up. Okay, keep those knees going apart, guys. Pull those knees out. Good. There. 100% now. Let's really go for this. You can feel that. The glutes feel like they're getting tired. I can only get this feeling when I've done about 10,000 meters on a row machine, believe it or not. Okay, Ali's got, you've got the same row machine. Ali might know what I'm talking about. You feel the glutes working super hard. Two and a one. And we relax it down. Stand it up, guys. So there. And all of a sudden, I've got a bit, I can feel a bit of a, of a thirst coming on, all right? That's the body working, taking stuff away from the, the furnace, if you like, and we're getting, we're burning up all that energy. Let's take those hands up and out. Turn the palms up and breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Elbows nice and low. Take a few seconds now just to compose, relax, and focus. Two, and a one, and arc it nicely down. We're doing our symmetrics for as long as what we've all done with the workout. When you're coming in, guys, it's one of those exercises, and you do have some 
you're going to feel toned up because you, you're getting the body all physically working and it's going to bring you up and make you look. It's where people look and think, I can tell they work out. And you can do that by seeing somebody walk, that, walk past you in the street by just by looking at their posture. Robin Hood's walked into the room. Here we go. So long arm and I'm at the shoulder here. OK, now what I do is just so you can see this long arm, my grip is there. So I grip a towel and I turn it that way. All right. Put a bit of a break on. And this one is pulling. So arms to there. Ten seconds. Ready? Two, one, go. There. Really pulling. And as you're pulling, think about the long arm actually pushing away at the same time. There. It won't move. It's just that you're thinking of it. You'll try and initiate that movement. Two and one, and relax that back down, and rotate it round. This arm's feeling different to that one. Let's level that up. Get a nice tight grip. Put a hand level with the shoulder. Long arm coming out, got my grip there. Looking down the hand, I can, and I'll keep looking back at you guys, but it should be looking straight down the towel. Ready, go. 10 seconds, there. Really pulling, and again, anybody watching us who didn't wear symmetric tools, I think, what they're doing with those towels, aren't they dry? Can't they afford washing machines? Yes, we can afford washing machines. We can't afford the bloody electric. Turn them on these days, can we? Two and one and relax that back down and rot rotate it around. I'm okay though, because I gave BB a polo mint. She doesn't like them. And when she runs around the garden, going, I put some washing in her arms at the same time so it gets all nice and dry. All right. Okay, let's talk to you on the other side, guys. Here we go. Nice long arm to there, getting the grip. Can you feel a bit of a tightness coming through that upper body now? In we go. I certainly can. Same position, level with the shoulder. Ready, go. There. Fantastic. Good. And if you look, guys, your posture is really good. Nice long arms, parallel. It looks strong. You know those old Greek statues you see of Hercules and everything? Relax it down where they're looking awesome. Mm. That's how you're looking because you're in there, you're focused, you're putting loads of power into it. All good stuff. If you notice, when you get into your fitness, you know, I always say we're all athletes because we're doing, we're doing that fitness and we are, okay? When you see another athlete in a sport, you might understand the sport or you have an appreciation of what they've put into it and how they, what they're trying to, to get out of it, okay, in their competitions even if we don't like the sport. Here we go. Not footballers, they get paid too much money. Go, 10 seconds, and pull that out and push away. There. I've got the tremors going on. My forearms are now starting to get really tired on the grip. That's where there's a lot of fast twitch fibres, and they will tire out first two and one, and we relax that down and just shake those hands out. All right, before we move on, guys, Let's get a breath before we finish that one off. Let's take the hands up and out, turn the palms up and breathe in. And exhale down to the heart, bringing that down again, thumbs on the sternum, hold for three and two and one. Shake the hands out, get the grip ready. Last one to the side for Robin Hood. Then we've got our biceps to do and we're done dusted, full body, smash it in and out. This time your grip, I want you to have it level with that elbow there. So it was here, I've shortened it down to there. Okay, that's the one there. Fantastic. Ready, two, one, go and pull. Now feel that? It's totally changed the exercise. How the shoulder's working different. It's rotated slightly, both of them have. The grip's a little bit different. Forearm's working a bit more. And the abs are getting sucked in. They're working harder too. And one, and we relax it back down. And the beauty of isometrics is you've only got to adjust an angle by an inch, shorten something down a length by an inch, and you change how it all works out. Here we go, this side then. Long arm, other hand, level with the elbow, looking down the towel, ready, go. There, really pulling that one, nice and tight. Abs getting sucked all the way, and that means the it's being transmitted, the energy, down the spinal column, because that's what's pulling it in. The two and one, and relax that back down, and just rotate the shoulders forwards, rotate them to the rear. When we put the towel down, 
bring the hands out to here, palms facing me, and gently just rotate that around, left and right. Two either side, there's two on there, two there, and from here, drop the hands down, bring that position there, guys, and then rotate those hands up, palms facing me, and take them to the rear and squeeze A4 paper between the shoulder blades, bring it back, open it up, get to the position, arc them back down again. One more time, bring it up to the rear, like the rocks pushing the palms, the hands back, there it comes together. Oh, bring it back in, that felt good. And then arc it back down and then to the sides, rotate them around. We've got one more to do, guys, and it's gonna be our biceps. But this is a full butt transmits across the body, shoulder to hip, so we're liking that one. But it works all the way down and through. It is not just your bicep. Okay, so our first position, I'm gonna grip the towel, and I want the hand to be about that angle there. The elbow stays tight into the body. Imagine we bolt through the arm because that is what we're aiming to do, to there, keeping this part still. So it's not that way, it's just to there. All right, from about that angle. Now I'll stand on the towel, look up the corner of the room, not leaning over any side, good posture, good positioning. It's 10 seconds, go, there. So you might feel like you're pulling straight up, but you're actually using it from your forearm. You're trying to get a slight bend, make sure you're not pulling straight up. Nice tight grip, 80% first one, remember two, and one, and relax that back down. I'm gonna turn it around, put the hand where that one was, turn that way, put the foot in the same place, you can feel the warm patch on the towel. Make sure I'm not leaning over to one side, I'll be facing you on the next two to finish off, guys. Hand upwards, there, other one on the hip, good posture, ready, go, there. And you can, now you can feel that, it's not just a bicep, is it? So it's your left arm, you can feel down the left leg and vice versa. It doesn't matter what hand you're using, you can feel that side of the body working really hard. Relax it back down. Okay, come with there. Shake everything out, good habits. So wrist, elbow, shoulders, all the way down through the body and you can feel it down through your legs just by doing, and you can have a set of weights, uh, uh, even a band, and you're doing this, very little going down to the bottom of your body. All right, this time, Hand position is going to be there, all right? With a nice angle in the elbow. So I'm going to be there. That's what I'm going to be. In fact, the next two are going to be this one. But right? look at 45 degrees. Face you this time. Hand to the hip. Ready? And go. There. Now, feel that? It's brought it into that rib cage, all the way down here, into the waistline. Everything working hard. Think 30% here, and 30% is pelvic floor there, too and one, and relax that back down. Give it a nice shake out, guys. The amount of money people spend on workout equipment, you can go get a towel from Trago for £2.50 and you've got it all, haven't you? There you go. I'm not saying it's £2.50 towel from Trago, but it could be. Okay, <laughs> you know where I'm coming from. It's there, guys, so get his hands set up. I've got position there, good. Ready, two, one, go, raising up. And now, after 36 minutes, I can feel like I've been working out with weights for at least an hour. All right, not BS you. That's how I feel with the power I'm putting down through this. And relax it back down. Shake everything out. Good. One more either side, guys. Then we're done and we're dusted. Angle of the hand is going to be the same as the last one. All right. So it's into there. But we're going to do 15 seconds on this one. So it's in. So I've actually, I've saved you five, five seconds. In case you thought you were, I was being nice and missing an exercise out. So it's there, both to the elbow, 100%, super strong, last one, show off. Here we go, nice straight line, controlled, good stance on the floor, two and one, and go, and raise that up there. Now squeeze that towel as tight as you can. Now squeeze the glutes, the bottom of the butt, squeeze there, there. All of that core is now fired up from you doing a bicep exercise. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. 100%, go a little bit more. Go, 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 two and one, and relax it down. So with that extra squeeze through the body, you felt it right down through, deep inside. Big exercise, guys. Massive core exercise, that one. Simple and effective. Like myself, 
Okay, ready. It's there, hand to hip. So let's build this one up and through. Last exercise. Ready? Go. There. Now squeeze that towel as tight as you can. Squeeze. 100%. Raise it up. Try and tear the towel apart. Now squeeze the glutes, the bottom of the butt. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze the handle more. Now increase it. 100%. 200%. Keep it going. Got the shakes and tremors going on. Feel all the body working super hard. Count down. More. Two. One. Relax it back down. You feel the abs getting fired up. Your tricep getting fired up. Stability right through the joints, guys. I enjoyed that. Fantastic. Take the hands up and out. I've got the Friday crunchy feeling. Turn the hands up and breathe in. Some of you in there got the Saturday afternoon crunchy feeling. Exhale down. And two of you have got the Sunday morning crunchy feeling. Pause and hold it there, guys. Squish the hands out, palms facing me. One time that side. One time that side. Back round to me. Arc those hands down. Let me press the old magic button to here. So you guys on press and play, follow Ali or follow Kerry in what you're doing on the exercise. Good stuff. A couple of new people doing this one over the weekend as well. Follow everyone on the screen, guys. Nice with the timing. Full the exercise done. Bring it to here. And even on press and play, time this one and clap yourself as well. One, two, three, go. Yes. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Kerry. Thank you, Ali. Have a great night. Friday feeling. And if you can, get some protein now, okay? All right. If it's got eyes, it's protein. Leave your puppies alone, Ali. Don't eat them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Have a great night. Thanks for that. Good timing. All right? Bye, guys. All right. Bye. Fantastic. Catch you later, guys. Nice one.